This week on Wealth Track, as the world economy slows, will governments and companies be able to pay off their mountains of debt? Michael Buchanan of Western Asset Management shows where his award-winning team is avoiding financial avalanches and searching for hidden treasures. Next on Consuelo Mac Wealth Track. This week's guest focuses more on what can go wrong in investing than what can go right because he is a bond manager. And as a lender to businesses and governments, he wants to make sure he gets paid back and makes money in the bargain. He is Michael Buchanan, Deputy Chief Investment Officer of Western Asset Management, where he is a member of the Morningstar Fixed Income Manager of the Year team. Buchanan is involved in the management of multiple funds, including the Western Asset Core Plus Bond Fund, which is rated five-star by Morningstar. It was cited along with the flagship Western Asset Core Bond Fund in the Fixed Income Manager of the Year awards. I began the conversation by asking Buchanan how concerned he was about the possibility of recession, both here in the U.S. and overseas. Yeah, I mean, I think you have to respect the probability of a recession, uh, given the volatility that we're seeing in the market, given the slowdown in China, given some of the data that we're seeing in the U.S. I think it's, it is a possibility, and we, we respect that, and we price that into the probabilities, but we think it's a low probability. We, you look at the, how the consumer is in the U.S., still very strong. Look at auto sales. Uh, corporations are in very good shape. Uh, and also, the, the bank, uh, central banks are accommodative, and even they though, sure the, are. Yeah, yeah, well, even though the, the Fed is removing accommodation, uh, we would even still say they're being accommodative because they're watching markets closely. They're very nervous about it. I think uh, you'll see a, a much more measured, tempered uh, pace of hikes. So I think putting it all together, we're worried about it, we're concerned about it, but we think the probability is relatively low, and we think we're still looking at a, a slow growth but positive growth environment. And what difference is that going to make uh, as far as the trajectory of the economy is concerned and also conditions in the credit markets and the bond markets? Well, I think if you have a Fed that remains engaged, which we think this Fed very much is, right. um, that's good for rates because uh, you're, you're going to have, although the path may be slightly higher, uh, we think it's going to be somewhat muted, and that's a great environment for, for credit where you get slow but positive growth. You get rates that aren't really a, a threat. Um, that's a great environment for credit. You, you, certainly where valuations are, there's plenty of ability for what we call spread compression, for spreads to tighten. So the backdrop is set up for a, a nice rally in 2016 for credit. Uh, and certainly, given valuations and what happened last year, we think that uh, it, it's all lining up. Now, I, I do know that last year, for instance, instance that uh, Western Asset Management was looking at the energy sector and looking at some of the, the same you know, statistical uh, attractiveness. Yep. Um, and you were early, right, we were early, in saying for sure. that, gee, energy is the place that we want to start you know, picking some, yep. some spots, specific issues. You're, yep. you, know, you look very closely at individual credits. Um, you are value oriented. Uh, could, you be in, could this be a value trap again this year? What, why don't you think this is a value trap this year? Well, well, it could be, but the great thing about fixed income is if you're fundamentally right, you are going to get your coupons. Ultimately, you'll get paid back at maturity or earlier. So right. last year, uh, clearly, our timing was off. If you look at the sector, energy was down t almost 24 percent, which is a big, big move for a uh, fixed, fixed income, income sector. Thankfully, we did not make an investment based on where crude oil was going. We, obviously, crude oil will influence the direction of bonds, and we thought that crude oil would show some signs of, of price improvement toward the end of 15. Clearly, that didn't happen, uh, but we bought companies that we knew had the financial flexibility, the financial wherewithal, the strength of balance sheet to survive a very long period of low crude oil pricing. And that's really what we're looking at. At Western Asset, we're, we're long-term investors. We're looking for that disparity between fundamentals and valuations. So sometimes we're going to get the timing of it wrong. But if we get the fundamentals right, the life of that investment is going to be a really attractive return profile. And that's what we think with the energy space. Uh, as much as we liked it last year, I would say we find it even more compelling this year just because of where prices are.